Okay, so this video is going to be about LEDs. A lot of these electronics kits that the girls are soldering together have LEDs. What is an LED and how does it work? We're going to use the microvet to show us some information on this. These boards have resistors on the back side that reduce the electricity to each LED so they don't burn out. That's the purpose of having these blue resistors. This is an integrated circuit. This is a little buzzer. This is a battery bank on the for a button battery, the brown thing. And then I soldered on a couple of wires to have an external battery for power also. Then we've got this old style USB connector for power also, but I'm using this battery right now. How does this work? What's an LED and how does it work? We've got our micro bit connected to a breadboard. If I press the A button, the blue light turns on. If I press the B button, the blue light turns off. It's the simplest possible programming for the BBC micro bit. This little expansion board allows us to access all of the pinouts on this edge connector. We have a black wire coming off G, the ground on the micro bit, going to this blue rail. So all of this rail is now grounded on the blue line. And then we've got a jumper wire going from that ground over to one leg of the resistor. The other leg of the resistor connects into the LED ground leg. Now, these LEDs have two different length legs. Can you see that one's long and one's short? The short leg on an LED is always the ground leg. Then we have on the long leg, this yellow cable that's coming back to pin number two, I believe. And so the micro bit is going to address pin number two digitally when we press the A button, it will send, it will turn on digital signal on and we press, press the B button, the code says turn your digital signal off. That's the way this is wired up. What is an LED? A light emitting diode. It's a semiconductor device that emits light when current flows through it. What's a diode? A diode is a one-way component, one direction, that allows electricity to flow one way. That's what we're talking about. We've got a short leg, which is ground, and a long leg, which is the voltage, or in this case, the signal wire going in to the LED. Now we need to remember that in some cases we use voltage, like on the previous video about the uh, photo sensor, but in this case we're not going to use this voltage wire at all. The V3V for the micro bit is not used. We're only using power going by way of pin number two and ground on this LED. Here is the code. It's very simple. If I press the A button, digital right one, one means on, on pin number two. And if I press the B button, digital right to zero, that means turn off on pin number two. These tools came out of advanced, if I can get that to come up, and pins right here. That's where the tools come from. There's no extension for an LED. I'll do another video that discusses NeoPixel, which are multicolor LEDs, and those do have a separate extension. But for this purpose, we only use 
digital right on and digital right off and assign a pin number and that's what we've got here so there'll be more about all this but what we're doing is learning about the different components that come in these packs that we're soldering together to make our various electronic boards what are the components and how are they used and how do they work and in this case it's an led light we've got a programmed with make code and hardware, an expansion board that accesses the many pins on the micro bit by way of the edge connector. And then we can use the breadboard. So there will be more.